Uh, welcome and hello to Dario Comics. I wanted to make a quick update video on what I'm working right now and what I'm planning. Right now I'm doing a lot of fan art or fan artwork because the schools are closed and comic cons are cancelled. So I can't make money that way and I'm trying to do more commissions and commission work. And this one is from Warhammer uh, Sororitas Adeptus or Adeptus Sororitas. And I have a plan to make babes and Warhammer related stuff. And here, this should have been a pinup. Now it's more of a you know, calm picture, but it's planned. And I'm also like drawing commissions from Warhammer. This one is uh, Corhill captain of the white lines and uh, in future videos I want to talk about what's inspiring me and I will talk about uh, things like Starcraft 1 and old games, old movies um, things that kinda wanted to make you want to draw and tell stories in the first place and it's really important that you return to those elements because these are the things that made you fall in love and these are the things that you want to bring back to this world like I really love this artwork how it's drawn how it's painted it's really I don't know it has a um, dark and gritty vibe something something really cool about it and today a lot of people draw digitally and I think that some aspects you see in this picture are lost and I don't know what it has to do I mean um, I think you can I guess this one is painted digitally and it's very very time efficient but when you do things that are time efficient like they couldn't can look amazing they really can but um, older illustrations older books didn't have just like one cool piece they had like this like epic shit and it was really like each and every character has a story to tell is a real is a real entity on this on this board and putting effort in your drawings like always pays out don't don't skip the real world uh, work and make it make it rich and that's what our times have led you to believe that um you should be always time efficient but this is awesome and this not so much like I see that they paint a lot of it like uh, it's digitally painted and um, this is also huge inspiration for me all these miniatures we will talk about books games music other stuff but yeah like I think this one is also digitally painted and it's somehow different it's also cool, but it's, it doesn't resonate as much with me. But yeah, whatever floats your boat. And I wanted also to say, like, when you draw something and you're inspired and you draw from sources you love, like from Lord of the Rings or Magic the Gathering or from old Dungeons and Dragons stuff and you learn to draw how they draw and you look at these things, like they will make you enrich your stuff and so you're more involved with the lore with the characters and you will take that time and that care to create whatever artwork you make like look at this guy uh, uh, the, the face already tells you everything you need to know the shoulder pads already tell you that this one this is somehow a noble guy a good guy yes um like a, like uh, arrow and bows, but his face looks grim dark, and then he carries a head of a dark elf. Like this is all important stuff. So when you go to work, always try to 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 feel what the character is about, and try to do your best when you do it. So. This I wanted to be only a quick update video and we will talk in depth about inspiration, artwork and everything else. Stay happy 
and healthy and I hope you draw.